When I set out to design the back of a playing card, I realized that it was more difficult than I had initially thought. After searching for guidance online, I found that the available resources were either too short or lacked comprehensive coverage of the topic. As a result, I decided to create my own guide to help others who were facing similar challenges. I am excited to share my knowledge and experience with others who may be interested in designing their own playing card designs. So let's begin. First, the card sizes. They have to be correct, otherwise your design would look bad on the final product. There is this great website which has all the card sizes that you need for your project and you can download them from there. It was time to create a mood board for inspirations. I went to Pinterest and created a board where I put all my inspirations for the card design. I needed to familiarize myself with existing card designs so I can design something similar yet unique. This will become helpful later. Then we go to my favorite software game and we go to windows, talkable dialogues and then symmetry painting. Then we are going to turn on all the symmetries, horizontal, vertical and central symmetry and this is the key. As you see, if I draw on one quadrant, it's going to be copied in all four, giving me a very great result. A playing card has to be same from top and bottom view. So we are trying to copy exactly that feature. We are using GIMP because in my experience I have found GIMP to have the most efficient and user friendly symmetry tool. What sets it apart is that you do not need to navigate through a series of steps to enable or use it. This makes the design process much smoother and more efficient. I created a new layer on top of my template and started sketching. I'm going to recommend creating a centerpiece. I have seen this repeated in many card designs and then it's all my imagination. My suggestion is go with the aesthetic that pleases you more. After a few hiccups, I finally reached to the end and now it's time to transfer it over to Vector Software and create this. I import it into Inkscape and start designing. My goal is to design only one quadrant and then repeat it. But this is where I messed up. Inkscape crashed and I could not finish the work within this session. But enjoy the rest of it anyways. I was angry and left it there and I finished it off screen. I was only going to do one quadrant to show you how it works. You take the whole design, then flip and repeat it across all the remaining quadrants. And it will be completed after that. Yes, there will be a few remaining touches here and there, but I'm sure you guys can manage that. All that is remaining is the final result and here it is. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see a part 2 of this where I designed the king and queen card. Also if you have made something cool with the help of this video, please know me at my instagram at joybdesigns101. If you have learned a little something from this video, please consider subscribing and I'll put more effort into making content for you guys. Thank you and I will see you in the next video.